amazing audience we are live we are at the we work in san diego 600 b specifically uh having an amazing conversation here uh with derek yopi derek what's up how are you doing how's it going my friend i'm excellent i'm excellent please tell us what part of the world are you from i'm from waterloo ontario okay. um which is in canada i I don't know. Growing up, I don't know. I don't know what you want, but my story is that we we lived in England for three years. Growing up, I moved back. I've lived across the East Coast, West Coast of Canada, California, and I spent uh, just before moving to San Diego. I was in Australia. Ooh, Australia for, is nice, is it? It's. I, I I was in Brisbane. I love Brisbane. Yeah. Like uh, like being outside of Australia, you only hear about Sydney. Mm. Um, I think that Brisbane is a super awesome city built on a river um, that is worth checking out if you get the chance. Yeah, I definitely look forward to that. Uh, which of your talents do you think is responsible for us connecting at a specific time in history? Oh, um, I have no fear getting done what needs to get done. Mm. Um, that's my... I'd say that's my only talent in life is just if something needs to get done, I'll figure out a way to do it. I'm never the best at anything, but I can make sure stuff gets done. So how we met is I needed to meet new people to test out my product. I met Eric and then Eric introduced me to you, introduced me to you. So I was out uh, getting stuff done. Yeah. Who did you learn that from like that attitude to get things done? Who did you learn that from? Oh, I don't know. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's a hard question. I mean, I, I've asked my parents this actually. And I'm like, how did, how did you raise me? Like, <laughs> how, do you, how do you, like, like I don't do drugs. I don't, you know, like I did well in school. You know, I did a decent job. I mean, uh, how do you do that? And they're like, oh, well, we used to read to you all the time. You know, like what your mom would say. She's like, I would read you all these stories mm. and you love to read. And I think that's the reason. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> but it's amazing like you've done that and you've created this which i'm very fascinated by i mean it definitely is thinking out of the box in terms of what one could invent yeah uh please tell us a bit more about this please okay so um i don't know if you can see them there's a little one on my hand which is purple and there's another one that's clear these are stickers that change color when you need to reapply your sunscreen mm. Um, even though, uh, you know, people use sunscreen to protect their skin outside. Most people are really bad at it. Um, when it comes down to like, you know, the, the, the result, the, what's the consequence is skin cancer. Yeah. Um, it's something that like one in five people get in North America, one in, or two in three in Australia get skin cancer. Hmm. And it's like, it's all preventable if you just stay sun safe. So... Uh, I'm a nano engineer. We were trying to think about problems that we could solve for a school project. This turned into like maybe we can solve sun safety, and now it's been four years. That's amazing. So I put this on my skin, and it tells me I need more sunscreen, or it just tells me if the sunscreen that I have on is enough. It does both. Mm, yeah, so more. the sticker goes on first, sunscreen goes right over top. Mm. And so on this hand, I've put sunscreen on this morning, so it's all clear. Yeah. Um, maybe a little bit's been rubbing off. It's been uh, it's been a couple hours since I put sunscreen on, and this one, I didn't put any on, and it's all bright purple. Mm. So that's how you know uh, when you see this purple, you know to put more sunscreen on. And if you've put enough sunscreen on, then it will go back to being clear. That's so that's great. What you're How long does one of these last? I, I guess possibly like a day, yeah? Yeah. 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 So it's the the changes color like as many times as whatever yeah, one. Yeah. whatever whatever happens. Okay. But the adhesive um, sticks for about a day. We don't want to be like yeah binding these to your skin for life. But also you don't want them to fall off while you're swimming. Yeah. That's amazing. That's a great idea. Where can I get more of this? I mean, I have my own right now. Right? Yeah. Where yeah. can I get more of this? Um, our website is spot oh, spotmyuv.com. Spotmyuv. Spotmyuv.com. All right, all right, all yeah. right. That's fun. No, children, it's really children friendly, isn't it? Like with the pets and the lion and the cat, isn't it? Well, we, we tried to, we're trying to solve this problem from like the bottom up, right? 
Um, when you're young, when you're like, what, three to seven, you're learning how to brush your teeth on your own, you take a shower on your own, you know, you're making, maybe you're starting to pack your own lunch for school. What? I even know, not my son. <laughs> <laughs> well, my okay. mom was pretty like, you yeah. have to pack your own lunch for school from a pretty, I don't know. Yeah. You start to learn and do all these things on your own as you become an adult and you get these good behaviors. Um, but we find that a lot of families just, sunscreen's kind of like a chore. It's not something that kids enjoy, it's not something that parents enjoy, but it's something that people just have to use when they go outside. Yeah. So we're trying to make it fun. Yeah, sounds um, good. Kids love stickers, and um, we're trying to make it a bit easier. That's good. Tell me one other thing you've done consistently over the last three years, please. Something that I've done consistently, uh, moved. Yeah. <laughs> How does that make you feel? How does make moving often make you feel? Um, I, well, I, I moved, yeah, so I was in, um, we were in Waterloo, then we moved to our office in Toronto. And then I moved to Australia. In Australia, I moved in four different houses. Hmm. Then I moved back to Canada for two months. Then I moved back to, then I moved to San Diego. Hmm. Um, and I was actually actually in um, Ventura before I moved to San Diego for, I was in Ventura hmm. for about a month. How does that make you feel? Uh, I don't know. That's a, this is an interesting question. I feel, I feel touched. Yes. Um, it's a, it's, 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 I think it's a grass is always greener thing. A lot of people tell me, oh, you're so lucky. You get to explore the world, see all these places. And I'm like, man, I just want to buy a couch yeah. and, you know, and just sit down one day. I don't want to have to live out of, out of two bags. Yeah. Um, I mean, I get that what I'm doing is it's all for the startup. It's for the job. So it's not like I, I dislike it, mm -hmm. but it's, um, it's certainly not easy i mean you're you take you, yeah, you, you're, you're on this, you're on what this experience right now yeah. like what are you 50 amanda was saying 59 days in yeah. to your road trip and yeah. you know what it's like i do i do my friend yeah it's um, almost like tears can come to your eye yeah just a bit because of the experience and it's small things which really fascinates me it's small things and i love how you are focusing on small things yeah because it's uh, sun awareness that will keep you from getting skin cancer. So it's the small things, but definitely I, I feel the way you feel in terms of you miss buying the couch, sitting on the couch, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, like, you, living you, know, room. You, like you, you miss home. Like you, like yeah. you can't make any decision that means that you're tied down for more than a month or two at a time. Yeah, like you have like t-shirts that are uniform because you can't buy like a really nice shirt because <laughs> there's no way to hang it up, yeah? <laughs> so I understand, I understand. Why will you continue though? Why will you continue to do what you're doing nevertheless? Um, look, I mean, we've, in, like, you know, I don't want to brag, but we've invented something. Mm -hmm. Right. And it's, it can really help people. And we've you know, done pilots and we've seen that people are really getting big benefits from from using stickers. Yeah. And the kids, kids are learning and they're becoming interested in it. Like, um, I've, like, you know, like me, my family, like my aunt passed away from lung cancer, my grandma from breast cancer. Um, cancer is something that you can control to some degree, but other times you can't. Mm -hmm. Like there's no way with someone who's had breast cancer, they look back in their life and they go, oh, I shouldn't have done mm. this or that or anything. Cause like the cancers like that come out of thin air. Mm. Skin cancer is not the same. Mm. If you don't get sunburned, there is a very, very, very low chance you would ever get skin cancer. Mm. Like 99% of skin cancers mm. would be, are caused directly because of sunburns and sun exposure. Mm. Um, so it's what keeps you going. It's like, you know, I wouldn't want anybody that I know to be affected by it. Right. And I think I can fix it. I love it. I love that you're doing it. You get things done. If anyone can do this, you're the guy, yeah? So let's do that. Well, let's switch gears for a moment. Let me now invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. <laughs> what is your earliest childhood memory? Oh, my, my earliest childhood memory. Um, oh, there's tons. I'm trying to think like chronologically. I know that, like, it's funny that you mentioned water. We lived um, I, almost our whole childhood at a, at a cottage uh, up in Manitoulin Island in Canada. 
and uh, what we would do is me and my sister, who's a year older than me, we were like inseparable. Mm. And then my family friends, would, they, had a, it was, they had a son and a daughter as well, we were the same age, and we'd all go up as four, mm. and we'd be like two years old and three years old standing in the rocks on the beach, because it wasn't a sand beach, it was actually a rock beach. Yeah. And there'd be little like crayfish. And uh, my, my parents gave us nets that you would use to catch butterflies, but we decided to take them fishing. <laughs> and then we would catch the little minnows and the crayfish and put them in a bucket. And that's what we did all the time. Why do you think that memory is so clear? Oh, I don't know. How do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? I mean, like, <laughs> it's at the beach and now I'm thinking sun safety, but uh, I can't say that I've always been, I can't, I can't say that I've always been good at sun safety my whole life. Yeah. Um, Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind with the memory you just shared? Sure. I love the way that uh, at that age you were focusing on the small things and the importance of it. I mean, it happened indirectly. But it was definitely the focus and now to see you're protecting the opportunity to experience the small things in the sun just like on the beach with your friends yeah it's fascinating how that connects for me yeah i guess so it's funny that it may, maybe you're seeing uh, a lot more into me than what i what i'd imagine you'd be able to because like my mom when i grow up she says derek you need to be a lawyer mm -hmm. like, you know you're going to remember all these little details about the law and you're going to be a good lawyer yeah. i don't want to do paperwork but i think <laughs> i love to argue but uh i don't like to do paperwork so yeah. i'm not going to be a lawyer but um yeah. yeah i love it if you fast forward it to when you were 12 what was your favorite song oh so when i was 12 this is when i became a metalhead i don't know if you believe it like yeah. a clean cut white boy um <laughs> but i love uh, metal music, yeah. uh, instrument, progressive metal, System of a Down, yeah. Toxicity. Yeah. So they're uh, it's a American Armenian metal band. They've been on the radio, yeah. back on MTV. My cousin was a, a a really really good guitar player, and he still is. Um, plays in a band in yeah. Toronto. I love how the names of things connect. Uh, definitely, toxicity is something you're. <laughs> System okay, now that, that's definitely, uh, that's a coincidence. That's not... Well, I've done this a few times. Right? Yeah. So, I'm not sure about the coincidence part, but if you say so. Uh, if, all right, so we've arrived at our destination. Uh, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly. Are you ready? I'm ready. Have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? No. Are you married? No. Do you have children? No. Do you believe in God? No. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Sorry? Inner circle of friends. Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? No. What about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a more. day? More. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, what would you say that? Sorry, my own unique? Real statement. Real statement. What's a real statement? Well, no, sorry. It's my, it's my accent. Real, like R-E-A-L. Your own unique real statement oh what that you say that is about me yeah or about what or i believe you could choose anyone no you were asking so many easy questions <laughs> <laughs> oh um 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 you can say pass if you want pass yeah i'll come back to it this has been a great pleasure my friend before you leave <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience um yeah if you if, if you We've been doing something for four years. If you think what we're doing is cool, what we need most is your money because that's how any business thrives is off of money. Yeah. Um, in October of this year, we launch on spotmyuv.com and retail, it'll be in April in 2019. Uh, please look out for us, support us, and um, okay. spread the good word about sun safety. Yeah, I appreciate it. My friend, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12-Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you, Angel. Boom, did you have fun? That was fun. High five.